Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel, Cooking with the Bellums. Of course, I'm back, and today we're going to be making some meatloaf. I already have the oven on preheating at 375. I have an egg. You see, I have my gloves on because we're going to be mixing. So I only have one egg. I should have two. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another egg. Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use two, but this piece of meat, ground beef, is I believe it's a little bit over five pounds. So, depending on the weight of the meat, I'm gonna go ahead and use two eggs to be on the same side. And I go ahead and I mix that, toss that, take on my ground beef. So, I pour that in there. Um, before I get the gloves all dirty with that, I'm going to add my pepper. It's my black pepper. Garlic powder. I always like to use my garlic powder. I stay away from salt because that's high blood pressure. Onion powder. Um... I have chopped up my mushrooms and my onions. And I'm gonna pour those in there. I have some breadcrumbs that I'm gonna put in there. All right, we got that going on. And I got one more thing that I'm gonna add to it, which is some ketchup. The last of that. Only want to put a little bit in there anyway. So there go my mixture. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss it up. I have gloves on when I'm doing this. I need to make sure I get everything mixed together. Yes, I was deciding like what I was gonna cook today. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make this meatloaf. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh make a video. I don't know if I did a video already, but I make one. Right. My silver pan right here, and I take my meat, and actually I'm gonna make two meals out of this. I'm gonna form this as a meatloaf right here, and then I'm gonna make meatballs. But I'm gonna say that my meatballs marinate overnight, and I'll save that for tomorrow's dinner. Cause it's just my husband and I, so. We're not gonna eat all this. This is big enough. So here we have it. My lead meat meatloaf is nice and formed. This is how much ground beef I still have left. I hope you saw that. The lighting is off. I don't have my other light on. Okay. Now I'm gonna make some meatballs out of this. Right here. I need another pan. I'm just gonna put them in this pan right for right now. So this why I roll them around. And because I don't have a pan sitting in front of me without you know contaminating too much, I'm just gonna sit them in this pan right here so that once I take the gloves off, I'm done with the gloves. And tomorrow I will make uh some meatballs. I put them in the oven and I'll cook those. See, the meatball. Thank you. 
I'm watching this movie on Netflix called I Care For You. Netflix be having some good movies on there. Like, I just got finished watching a movie called uh, Between Her Eyes. That was good. It was like a little series. I think it was like three episodes or something. But whatever it was, it was really good. And now it's on I Care For You, which is really good. So, definitely. I'm just going to sit that on top for right now. You see, I'm just stacking them over there. And I'm going to give a, put them in a separate pan so you can see. Because I'm preparing these for tomorrow. But once I take the gloves off, you know, um, I like to be done with it with the gloves. So that's why I make sure I keep the gloves on too for my meatballs. And I'm going to let these sit, sit in the pan overnight tomorrow. Till tomorrow when I get it cooked up for dinner. Which will be lovely. So tonight we're going to have meatloaf. And tomorrow we're going to have meatballs. Which is good. So it's always good to prepare your dinner when you can. You know what I mean? It takes the stress off trying to figure out what you're going to eat. You know? So... Yeah, it's got a couple meatballs out there. Like I said, there was plenty of plenty of ground beef. I didn't want to make a real big meatloaf. Like if I had the kids down here, I would have turned all that into one meatloaf. But before all right. Let me take one glove off. Put in trash. I put this pan right here in the center. I'm gonna use the one ha clean hand to grab another foil pan. Got clean foil pans. And I will take and spray that pan down. Let me get this some spray. I just spray that pan down. This is some non-stick butter. And now you watch me prepare two meals. And this is the meatballs for tomorrow. And I just let them sit in the pan for overnight. Six, nine, twelve, thirteen meatballs. So I got thirteen meatballs and a meatloaf out of that order, which was good. So they're gonna meatballs, and they're gonna be sitting, marinating overnight for tomorrow. And I'm ready to put the meatloaf in the oven. So we have that, and what we do there is, I get some aluminum foil. I'm gonna spray the sides. I cover my foil pan and I put this in the oven and let this cook. I make sure it's secure nice and tight. I put this in the oven. My meatballs, I'll cover them and they'll go in the refrigerator for tomorrow. So all I gotta do is get up and put them on when I'm ready. Again, I just use some garlic powder, some onion powder, some fresh onions, mushrooms, some breadcrumbs, and some black pepper. That was my season. Yep, and this goes in the refrigerator. And we'll be back when the meatloaf gets done. Well, 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 I'm back, and it's time to take that meatloaf out of the oven. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it back in. But once let it get cooked, basically now I'm put it in the oven and let it brown. Now normally I take and put, and I'm gonna still do what I normally do. I put the ketchup on top of it, but um, I think I'm gonna make gravy. I do have some gravy I made last night, so I might say that for the meatballs for tomorrow. But I'm I'm just I'm uncertain right now. 
I'm gonna take and put this ketchup on. See, I just put that down there like that. And it goes back in the oven. And that cooks, get nice and brown. And then it be ready. So stay tuned. So here we go. Here we go. The ground beef meatloaf is done. And we're getting ready to take it out. There you have it. Meatloaf 101. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Let's get to 100 viewers.